Hey everybody, I thought I would give you an update on my sticker storage. Specifically, my full page stickers was what you see here. I used to have them in just a regular three ring notebook and I've changed up my storage a little bit where I have my main used planner supplies in a basket, which if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that. And so I wanted to do just a little bit better job with my full page stickers as well as I needed something that was a little bit more flexible as you can imagine and you know that the regular three ring binders are very rigid. And so this is very flexible. As you can see, it bends easily. It looks like it's not very durable, but it's made out of some kind of you know plasticky laminated type of material where it's not gonna rip or anything like that. So this is perfect, exactly what I was looking for and I found it at Dollar Tree. So yes, it only cost me a dollar and how stinking adorable is this with the nerd glasses, the nerds rule, love it. In real life, it's more of kind of a beautiful grass green. It's showing up a little bit paler on camera and this is more like a sapphire blue, but really super cute. As far as I could tell, I've been to a lot of different Dollar Trees and this is the only color option that is available, but it is perfectly fine with me. It is a one inch binder and it's also got nerd glasses on the back so really really cute i have had mine i believe close to a month but i just picked one up today for my best friend so i know that they're still available so run out and get one if you think it's as cute as i did so let me go ahead and show you really briefly my stickers of course i had to start with my pineapples i don't have any dividers in here but i did kind of loosely divide these into sections so the first one is personal things as you can see like the spa girl and then I've talked about these before, but these are all downloads from Lovely to See You off of Etsy. And so my best friend and I just made stickers a while ago. And as you can see, a lot of the stickers I haven't used, and that's really because I could not see them. They were either in two pocket folders or a page protector. And I've really dis discovered with all of my stickers, I just need to be able to flip through them just like a book like this in order for me to use them. And so I know that this is gonna work out really well. I've already used a lot more stickers than I have with this being set up like this. And then we're going to get into the next one, which is basically home and family. And my friend and I made a whole bunch of stickers and this is the clear sticker labels. I think it's the Avery shipping labels is what they call it, the full size clear. And these are really cool. We've made a whole bunch of these and have plans to make a whole bunch more because with this, it being transparent, it kind of looks like you wrote it in your planner, even though you didn't. We're all adults here, right? So I will go to the next one. So as you can see, we just made a whole bunch of these and I really, really like this look in my planner. I use this for mainly my personal and my, some little sloths here, personal and my family planners, where I have that visual kind of week at a glance look going on. Obviously, I need a whole bunch of planner time stickers. As you can see, we made a lot and I really love these. Like I said, I want to make more. And then these are really for my husband's schedule. When he works from home, that completely changes my schedule and it kind of derails me. So that's why I have these on there because I have to change up my schedule a lot. Okay, these are kind of, the next one is kind of more functional stickers. So as you can see, these are only half sheets of paper, but I still punch these in here because I want to be able to just see them. Some books and some computers. So when I have computer time, I'm able to write in what exactly what I need to do with the computer. And then this is more functional with the flags and the arrows. Payday is of course, these I would say are one of my all time favorites. I use these all the time. These grocery stickers obviously because when you go to the grocery store but just the, the whole look of the sack with the ve vegetables and fruits hanging out of it I love it so spray bottles for cleaning and then these are just squigglies where I use these to either cross out something that didn't happen and just wrote in canceled or I can use that with the times kind of it will take up a certain amount of time and then the rest of these are all fly lady stickers if you're not familiar with her she is she has kind of a cleaning system and routine and so she has stickers. I don't know if any of you are aware of that, but I ended up buying three of her packs. So she has a school pack and then she has just a regular home pack. So I have the first one, as you can see, I've used a lot of these stickers. So this is the home one. And then I have a school page. 
And so I want to use those first. And then the rest of the extras, as you can see, are in the back. So when I run out of those two pages, I'll move like one of each up in the front section of that. So here's more of the home section. I'll show you a full page so you can see what those look like. So here's the home with all the zones and the fly lady up there. And then this is the school section, which I don't use as much, obviously, since I'm not in school anymore and my kids aren't either, but that's what the school one looks like. And these in my other one were just stuck in something like a pocket like this, and that's why I didn't use them as much. I'll come back to that in a minute. These stickers right here are ones that I kind of have to cut out by hand. All of the stickers that I just showed you back here are the Kiss Cut from the, my friend Silhouette. But these either, they just weren't made that way or that was back before she had one or the Silhouette wasn't working on these particular ones. So I'll just cut out these by hand and use these up first. And so I just have an assortment of here in here where I have to do that. Those are some exercise ones, more payday ones. And then a few more checklists on the back. These are just some Avery regular shipping address labels. And then last but not least, when I was decluttering and massively doing like the life-changing magic of tidying up last year, I think I just went a little bit too nuts and got rid of too much stuff. So one of those things that I got rid of was my three hole punch. Apparently I didn't think I was ever going to punch another some page paper for my binder ever again, which turned out to not be true. So this is another three hole punch that I got. And this is also from Dollar Tree. So this was a dollar. And I was, of course, not, I was wondering how good the quality was going to be. But, you know, for a dollar, if it only punches some pages and then you have to buy another one, it's still only a dollar. But anyway, it worked out great. With the sticker paper, because you have like a kind of a thicker piece of paper with the backing on it, I was only able to punch one sheet at a time, which was no problem. Cardstock, it has no problem with it. And for regular pieces of paper, you could probably get, I would say, three or four pieces of paper at a time. And I just love this. I love functionality. So these two holes where it just sticks right into your binder, I think is just genius. Anyway, there's my updated large stickers, which I keep in my basket. You can see a picture of that on my Instagram if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you again soon.